I'm gonna answer another question about the vice handle. Now, a lot of you guys have uh, made comments to me saying that this vice handle is too small, it's too short, uh, it doesn't look right, it's not matching the size and shape of this vice. And maybe I could agree with you, we have two different things we're looking for, is cosmetic uh, and function. Uh, for me, one of the biggest part of this vice design was to actually make the smallest handle possible. And what I mean by that is I can use the example of like a car steering wheel. You know, before, uh, before power steering, cars and trucks had really big steering wheels uh, because you needed that mechanical advantage. But now we have some engineering and some mechanical advantage built into it with power steering. We have tighter rack and pinions, uh, so therefore you can have a much smaller steering wheel, you can get it out of the car, you can turn it fast, you can turn it slow, it's not in your way visibility wise, and that's what you interact with when you drive the vehicle. And the handle is much the same way on a vice. Uh, this is designed for one uh, to fit your hand properly. It's designed as an engineered component to fail at a certain point. And because this has thrust bearings, a straight through pole design, this vice doesn't need a very long handle. Uh, the next thing I wanna show you is this vice operates much like a smaller vice because of how fast you can turn the handle because it's really short. Okay, so you don't need a lot of length there. The next thing is this thing doesn't slap and hurt your fingers much like a bigger vice does with a big ball and there's just a lot of mass there that needs to move. So the finger pinching uh, aspect is not there. Uh, a lot of you guys say this needs to be longer so because you need mechanical advantage. Well, no, this vice has thrust bearings in it and I've personally seen this vice create up to 33,000 PSI of force. Uh, look what happens if we were to make this vice handle this big. So this is a, this is an 18 inch handle, which looks more aesthetically appropriate for this size of tool. But watch what happens. If I wanted to hold this piece inside of this vice, I have to reach over with my arms, bonk, look at this. It wants to bonk into my elbow. Why would you want to do this? So now I have to hold over here, come around, and I have to stand out of the way because this handle is so long. I don't quite understand why we want longer handles on vices. It does us no good whatsoever. The vice just needs to be appropriately engineered for an appropriate size handle. Look at this handle. It's nice. It's out of my way. I don't have to worry about it interfering with my body of any type. It's the appropriate size for this vice. So hopefully that answers some questions for you about the vice handle. Oh. Now, what are these ridges for? That's another question. Well, this vise is so smooth and so efficient that these are like the red line of a car engine. If this vise ever gets a cheater bar put on it, uh, these are fatigue points that will bend and break off to protect the vise itself. Uh, theoretically, this only needs like a 3 8 diameter rod to gain uh, forces high enough to uh, break itself. So how do you reduce the diameter and give the vise its first line of protection? Well, you have to reduce the bar and some areas to do that. So you can still use a cheetah bar on it, but you're not gonna gain anything because the bar's gonna bend. So that's kind of why these are there. This has all been thought about. This has all been engineered for your usability and to keep it convenient for you. So hopefully those answer some questions.